Hello and a very good day to you all. I hope you're doing very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis public video. Free content, so there's a lot to learn. Get ready, get seated because uh, we're going to go over a few things today. We're going to do a little bit of technical analysis on Bitcoin. Where are we right now and what do we foresee to happen in the charts based off of technical analysis and then uh if you sit the whole thing through so please watch till the end we also do have something to tell you and to show you so make sure it's worthwhile without further ado uh let's begin positions and that ladies and gentlemen we're gonna brew this over here that is three thousand dollars made i've just seen the lights <laughs> Smash the likes! <laughs> Good evening everybody and welcome to this evening's Contenders livestream. <sighs> Where shall I begin? 64 million. <laughs> 64 million <laughs> shorts are in this candle that were coming down. Price always goes up and down. That's a given. Uh, where, you know, that's the nature of the market. You are trying. You Here we go. This is the first level to fit. This retraced to a CC, lining up with a speed fan 618 and the yearly level. Yes, yes, let's go. So uh, looking at the Bitcoin chart of here today, let's begin with a little bit of the higher term time frame and uh, basically get a little bit of an overview. Um, we are making these videos for educational purposes only. So it is by no means financial advice or trading advice. Uh, all the information that you see uh, in here is purely related to educational content on the charts. And talking, speaking of uh, the chart, um, if we basically I'm looking now at the daily term time frame, uh, which is a higher term time frame. And what we can see here is that we have been in a steady, steady downtrend. But recently, however, we have been going more or less sideways. If you would even zoom out to the bigger prospect of the chart, then you could even say that overall we are going in a sideways market, which has lasted us for one and a half year. If you're familiar with, uh, somewhat familiar uh, with technical analysis, then I'm pretty sure you're familiar with the term uh, bear flag. And as it looks like currently, this could potentially look like a bear flag before, for example, breaking down. Now, what does this all uh, really mean uh, when it comes down to a, a forming a trading decision? Not much. What does matter, or better put, I would say, uh, are we going to break up or are we going to break down? That yet remains to be seen because first we have to take a look at what is happening more locally and that is the moment when i personally like to zoom out of the chart or zoom in on the chart a little bit and that is where i would draw the following sideways channel from connecting all the price action together and framing it really nicely into a certain framework giving us this really wide zone uh, to look for uh, price behavior to occur and what has happened what has actually transpired uh, as a matter of fact, I did pull this channel on the four hour coming from here and then onto here. And if you would look at that, then that midline of this channel has been extremely relevant over time over here, multiple times, multiple times. And after we have hit the top of the channel, which is the reason for the decline, um, very, very quick and steep decline, we have gone a little bit sideways more locally. And guess where that was once again around that midline of the channel from there on out we have broken up putting us pushing us somewhere in the middle of the upper range of this channel now how do we go forward from here well i do have a key level over here which is the POC and that is a level where most volume has been accumulated uh, specifically if you want to know more then we teach all about what it really means and how you can use that but for this video I want to keep it short sweet and concise this is a key level in my opinion and at the moment looks like we have been pushing through this particular level last but not least if we would look at some Fibonacci which is another technical tool if we pull that then you can see that currently we are literally within that exact uh, scenario giving us a nice 
zone of rejection. Now, what is gonna gonna go and happen from here? Well, at the moment, looks like we have reclaimed. We have basically come out of that midline of the channel, ranged here for a while, had a bullish breakout, and now we are simply trading at the next level, giving us a potential range to trade from here on out because we have risen quite fast. So we could also drop really fast once again, um, given the situation that at the moment we haven't seen any signs of rejections one could potentially simply look up to that upper region of this overall range once again. Um, with this, um, what I'm trying to show you guys is that uh, it is, if you know how to use these tools, it's really simple actually to uh, framework, to put a framework on, on the chart and, and basically find sub levels uh, in between where you would look for a reaction for where price would typically react. So uh, when it comes to doing a prediction, that is something that I do not like to do, especially not in, in, in this video, because I want to show you how you can frame price action with proper use of technical analysis. And this is how you do that. So you can see nothing happens without reason. Uh, everything has a reason. Everything has context. Uh, why did we rise uh, so quickly to the upside? Well, that is because we have spent a significant amount of time at this region and we broke out of that. So naturally you would look for price to accelerate to the upside until the next zone of friction is being reached where one would look once again for a price reaction. Um, are we going to get a full on reversal and continue all the way down? That is a little bit too early to say, but you know, at least you know where you might look for a reaction in price. And that is what technical analysis can give you. And that is what helps you um, becoming confident in when you look at the chart, you know why something is happening. Uh, you don't have to look for news. You don't have to uh, look to other people and, and ask why did price do this? If you're able to do this, then you know exactly the reason why price did that. You don't need anybody to tell you that. And that is the focus of what we do here in Chart Champions. We have a community where we teach all the technical tools. We have live streams um, twice a week, actually a little bit more even, but Wednesday and Sunday are the educational live streams. Uh, and today it is Wednesday. So as a matter of fact, we do have a live stream coming up tonight uh, where we're going to talk about hedging which is very important, especially in bear markets, for example. So if you're interested in learning more about this, then check the description down below, visit our website, subscribe to our newsletter so you don't miss any of our updates that we're doing. Uh, also, please subscribe to our channels and social media so you won't also won't miss any of our free content that we do regularly. So. Thank you very much for joining me within this video. Hope you've learned something new. Hope you gained some new insights. And with that, we have come, unfortunately, to the end of this video. So take care and see you in the next one. Cheers.